got half of Ukraine English speaking YouTube here today. <laughs> and we just want to say thank you everyone for your support. Mm. And I hope you'll enjoy the full video oh, released on our Christmas specials. <laughs> Slava Ukraine! So what you had there was about 50% of English speaking Ukraine YouTube. Thanks to Ali on an impulse, within one day I was able to rally all of us. Even Ukraine Matters, Georgie slant his platform to make it happen. It's not a fundraiser. It's not for a car, it's not to auction off a flag for a drone. It's pure fan service to you guys. You make our communities. Um, so I hope you have a good laugh. But you're gonna have to wait till Christmas. All YouTubers will not be releasing their footage until Christmas. Except for what you've just seen there, everybody will release that and you're going to have to wait. You're going to see a lot of different outtakes. We even made a personal video for Jake Bro afterwards and sent it to him. And he said how nice it was to be included in our community, your community. But you'll have to wait for Christmas. This is not a video that I wanted to make. Yesterday I made a community post. Uh, for those of you who don't follow my community posts, I usually post one every 48 hours or so. It's received over 500 comments, uh, pushing towards 3,000 likes now. It's the highest engagement I've ever seen in one, and it's been amazing support. I'm going home to Sweden. I, I am going home within a month, and I will go home for a minimum four months, realistically six months. While I'm there, I will be employed uh, by a Ukraine military aid organization in Sweden. I want to talk to you about that. I want to talk to you about my ambitions with my platform to continue the work here. I'd like to talk to you about the work we've done in Kherson, uh, the projects that are ongoing now, and what must be completed before I go. I also want to talk to you about uh, YouTubers, other YouTubers, uh, particularly Mr. Mercado uh, and Arthur Rehi. And we all have very similar visions uh, for what we want to do for 2024. And this is completely by our own conclusions, but uh, we are all on the same page. So you might see some more collaborations between the channels. Um, I'd like to talk to you about some indiscretions as well. Things you might not approve of that I've done with your money and my money. Um, but I just want to lay it all on the table and you can decide, we can decide where we go from there. So first I'm going to explain my situation. Uh, I was a temporary resident of Sweden. Um, I applied for permanent residence in February 2022. Earlier that summer, the law had changed. Um, I was not eligible to apply for permanent residence, uh, but for another temporary residence. My case was rejected. I had to go back to Sweden to appeal. Um, I was granted another a temporary residence, a two-year temporary residence, retroactive, uh, starting on March 24th, 2022. 2024, March 24th, my residency expires. I have to go home to Sweden and I have to work and I have to be employed and I have to pay tax. Uh, Sweden's all about tax, okay? You think in America, you... Anyway, I do digress. Um... I am going back to Sweden. Uh, Quartermaster for Ukraine is the most effective Ukraine military aid organization I have seen in Sweden uh, by far. Okay. Um, a lot of aid projects that you've seen, particularly Swedish and other countries, quite often people claim that they're donating their stuff and QM for Ukraine never says anything about it because they're very pragmatic. Okay. But a lot of that stuff comes for free. You'll see I've had over 30, 40,000 worth of their TAC med, um, the L200 you've seen. I'm going to work for that organization. I'm going to be the one who packs the med packs. I'm going to try to advise on the procurement. Uh, they also buy drones. And um, Sneagle, uh, the investors to Sneagle design, uh, this nice stuff I'm wearing that was given to the soldiers all over. Um, the Sneagle gear comes through them as well. Okay, so that's who they are. Uh, to my knowledge, they've raised no less than 10 million euros uh, for the armed forces of Ukraine. And that's distributed here on the ground as seen fit. Uh, probably about 60% of it is not decided in Sweden. It's decided here on the ground. That's the only organization in Sweden I've seen that does that. Okay. It's not determined in Stockholm. Okay.
okay? But I'm not going to talk about the past. Um, I will work for them. I will be employed. They're very sympathetic to my immigration situation. They're very supportive to me here. It's my ambition, their ambition, that I would go around and um, do talks uh, with the Hemvarnet. Uh, that's like the National Guard, uh, different military organizations, possibly politicians. I, I don't know. And to meet privately with some of the large donors. Uh, I'm going to be very accessible in Sweden. I'm going to have to listen twice as much as I talk. Um, because I might know how it happens here, but when you're talking about that kind of money, the, the projects they do, and I want to help, I have to see how they do things. So I have to have a real open mind. Um, I also, uh, for my own mental health, uh, I will maintain my platform, but how I will fundraise in inspiration of Kung's Leiden, which I did to save my own head, which fundraised for a car for Blue Gold uh, another organization, uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a lot of hiking. I'm gonna do a lot of running. Uh, I do a lot of running in the daytime in Kherson because we only work at night. I'm reasonably fit again. Okay, I, I've got some health problems. I do require a shoulder surgery, AC joint, but I can still run. Okay, I, I had this other shoulder done a few years ago. That's just some personal stuff. Um, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna continue to monetize Malsa, and she's gonna be used on the charm offensive while I'm in Sweden. But my own individual fundraising, which Quartermaster for Ukraine supports my autonomy, uh, how will I implement that? Well, through Harley, through Dimitri, through Svetlana at MSS Defense, um, through people such as Max. Uh, he will be returning to active duty soon in Donbass. He will make content on the deliveries. Uh, Andre from 28 Brigade, he will help. He's just received 10 radios uh, that you guys paid for. It took a long time to get them. Um, that's like £4,000. Uh, an SLR repeater. That's the first time we've ever bought a radio repeater. That's going to be there hopefully soon. That took a month to get from Malaysia. That's where they make the Motorola's. Um, they, he, he documents that. He, he, he knows how to play the game. Um, and also Igor. Uh, I've shared about Igor in my community post. Um, on my hospitalers team with Paulina and Igor, um, he's. I'm going to try to empower him through QM for Ukraine, that he could be a trusted person to distribute supplies in Kherson as he sees fit. Okay, and Igor was a professional photographer, and if you don't know him, go to my community post. You can see some of his videos. I'm in some of them, and they're very graphic. Okay, but but the man has a talent. I I trust his artistic ability. Um, and I trust him and I trust Paulina, but I trust Igor because he, he, he will document it right. Um, yeah, I want to continue to do these things. Um, what we've achieved in Kherson, okay, now this past month I've seen a massive drop in donations, but I've also looked at my view count. I'm not, I'm not producing content like I used to. I'm, I'm too busy. Um, we are really busy there. Um, we have made gains in Kherson. But um, it's come at a cost. Um, we have delivered a lot. I'm, I'm going to start uploading more videos. You will see, okay? You will see some of the training. You'll see some of the equipment delivered. Um, I will get those out. Um, I still have work to do there. Over the past couple of months, I've repaired three vehicles. Uh, the Land Cruiser, that was Nico's. Paulina used to work on that same team with Nika, um, and others, yeah, I'm donating that to her outright. That truck was ravaged over the summer while I was gone, driven without oil, uh, tires were stolen. Um, the frame was cracked. I put $7,000 into that Land Cruiser and that's as, as good as new as you're gonna get. That's her truck uh, with new tires and that's for her and Igor because they work so well together. And I think they're gonna get a lot of longevity out of that team. Um, the L200 I will give that was donated by the Swedes I've been driving around. Uh, that's going to be donated off tomorrow. Um, but I've, I've repaired that and, and through help from a donor and Jelica when I was in Germany, she paid outright 2,000 euros. I put over 4,000 euros of your money into that. And my patrol, uh, my patrol that was, was donated by Andrea last year after he seen me get blown up. Um, I put a lot of work into that. And that will only ever be driven. I'm not giving that away. Uh, that can be used by Dimitri for his work and Dan Rebar. 
He's the only other hospitaler, the only other war people I'm letting drive that truck while I'm gone. Okay, that's mine. Um, but I will not let things sit and, and, and linger while I'm away. That's immoral. People do that here, you know. Spoiled volunteers. I'm very spoiled. Um, yeah. So the vehicles are being repaired. Um, more night vision. Um, more drone guns. I'm going to talk about that at the end and the indiscretion. Um, Ali and I talked a lot about that. You'll have to decide for yourselves. But I want to talk about YouTubers. Um, I want to talk about Andrew Mercado. Particularly, I want to talk about Arthur Rahe. Now, completely by their own conclusions, um, they want to follow the same direction as me next year. Uh, we have very similar vision for 2024. And um, I sat down at a very fancy restaurant with Arthur um, and Alex Kanash the other day, who's apparently done a lot of things on Twitter, uh, and they've been very successful um, fundraising. And um, sat down with a member of the armed forces in drone production. And, um, you know, Arthur wants to support a project. It's for him to talk about. And I sat down and I listened. And their problem at large scale construction is very similar to the problems that we have. I, I want to deal with volunteers. I want to support FPV drones. I want to support FPV drones for many, many reasons. And um, I'm going to prepare a whole series of videos, um, FPV production, FPV volunteers, uh, FPV positions in Donbass. I, I have to go to Donbass now. And um, anyway, you'll know where I was and what I was doing there. Um, I've been invited at a brigade level um, to go to go to document this for you guys. Um, Mercado's on board. Starsky's on board, if it makes sense. I'm going to sit down with him before I left. But I, I spent um, I spent three hours with Arthur yesterday. I spent probably about three hours with Mr. Mercado yesterday. Um, we have very similar visions, and uh, we hope you'll come along for that. Yeah. Um, but again, there's going to be a lot of content, which brings me down to my indiscretions. I'm filming this right now on an iPhone 15 Pro with one terabyte memory. And I bought it for $1,500. Um, why did I buy that phone? It was a little bit of retail therapy. But this thing ain't got the memory. 256 gigabytes. I have to delete things all the time. I always had to upload, delete, edit like mad. Uh, I've got over 400 gigabytes of Kherson and, and that's only like a third of the work we've done there. there there's so much you can't film in Kherson. And the YouTubers, we talked about this. Um, I'll talk about this at the end of the video. I don't want to digress. Um, I like this phone. Do you know what I mean? Um, I really like it. I've never bought a new phone. I've only ever bought a couple of years before. Um, the memory, the camera is fantastic. But I spent $1,500 on a phone. I spent $800 on Nika's phone last year. Um, Paulina was on that crew. She'll get the Land Cruiser. It was Dan Rebar and Nika in in the car when Nico died from Sweden. And, uh, and Nika lost her phone, but she knew my number off by heart. She knew it by memory. She she called me uh, from Slovyansk Hospital. Big shit show. The whole team got separated. I don't know why she was in Slovyansk. Uh, but, but anyway, that doesn't matter. And she said, uh, this is what happened. I need you to call Jana, our commanding officer. And uh, when I see Nika again... Uh, when she came for the funeral and I took her to epicenter, you know, like kind of like a big brother. And, and I knew she needed a new phone and I gave her some money and I left her because she, you know, let her decide her own phone and I had somewhere to go. I sent her more money. I was like, and I sent like card to card transfer. I said, get whatever the hell you want. Yeah, that was your, that was your money. That was my, I make YouTube revenue. Okay. I, I don't make art to Rehi bank, but you know, I, 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 I've got a minimum a thousand dollars every month coming in. Uh, but I spent 1500 on my own phone. I spent, because I'm Apple, I can't work on Android. Nika got the best Android for 800 And you Android people will say that's better anyway. Um, also what I've done with money, um, for no less than four months, uh, there's a doctor 
a neurologist in hospitalers, a Ukrainian neurologist, um, who's been diagnosed with MS. And I've, I've given about $500 maybe every second month to help pay for her medication. Uh, her. Um, in case you're wondering, there, there's never been anything between us. I do have a little crush on her, though, and I, I really admire her a lot. Um, but no, there's never been anything like that. Um, I, I have done other things like that for people. I, I give your money away sometimes, uh, particularly to hospitalers, good ones, because uh, it's it's unpaid Ukrainians, you know, like a hundred dollars, couple hundred bucks for that. But that, that's been minimum two thousand dollars off and on uh, since last year. And that's not for the war effort. Um, she's got MS and she's a young girl. Um, she's also gone through a lot of depression. Um, but it's not for me. I'm just telling you that, you know, I, I know you are probably cool with a hundred bucks, 200 bucks, but, um, yeah, I did that. And I don't know if I'll do that again. I don't know if I'm in a position to do that again. Um, <laughs> here's the one that Ali, I talked to her about this before, cause you might think this is a little controversial. Um, I bought drone guns. I bought Ukrainian produced drone guns. Uh, for example, in Lithuania, they produce one of the same specs. I, I know a little bit about the specs now, but for about $18,000 um, in Ukraine, we can make that same specific model, even to better specifications, for about twenty-eight, twenty-nine hundred dollars um, I bought one. I bought one and I gave it out to Joe's Brigade and they were amazed because they lost one in a tank attack. Um that I bought another one. Um, I didn't give that to a Ukrainian unit. Uh, if you're watching this far in the video, I won't go into details. I sold that to a foreign government. Um, they're very interested in electronic warfare. I don't know if you follow the war here, you'll know how good Russia is. I want to talk more about that later uh, as videos go on electronic warfare. Um, but um, I sold that to a foreign government for three times the price I paid for it. And um, I didn't see the money. They paid my night vision bill. Um, I had to kick up a little bit more to make it up, but I turned one drone gun into three sets of night vision. Okay, so that wasn't your, I had to wait for that. I had to do a, a rishala, a wheel and deal. Um, so I won't go into more details about it, but um, well, last month I bought three drone guns. I bought higher specification drone guns for 4,000 each. And um, I've sold two of them. Again, uh, I've done this. I've, I paid $12,000 for four, three drone guns, and I've sold two of them for 18. They haven't paid yet. The drone guns aren't made yet. Um, the lead time uh, through AliExpress and other sourcing takes about a month to get those. Um, if they renege on the deal, I have people I'll donate. I won't donate one to a unit, I'll donate three out. And I know people who will take them. You, you might say that's a bit murky, that's a bit whatever, um, but they do that all the time. Americans do it, the British do it. Um, it's not for me to talk about, but for, for example, like London, they're very interested in new mines, any new technology. So a poor sapper's gotta go out there, there's an incentive for them to risk themselves to, to defuse new stuff. Um, that's. I mean, is that secretive? Use your common sense. If all the things that you ever read declassified in World War II, whatever, it history repeats itself. So I did a Rashala deal. I did a wheel and deal on Ukrainian made drone guns and with full consensus with everybody that I would turn it into other gear for them. So I've done that. I've done that with your money. Um, on what, I turned one drone gun into three times the price. They can pay for it. Well, your tax money paid for it. Um, and they wanted to buy two more. If they decide to jump out of the deal, these guys need the drone guns. But I was just gonna turn that into more NVGs. So that, that's gonna happen before I leave here, either way. Um, I wasn't sure if that was the right thing to do, but they made good the first time, and it was too good to be true. Um, so, yeah, I they call me Rishala for a reason. Um, I don't know how you feel about that, but that's what I've done. I bought myself a really nice iPhone. Uh, I bought Nika a phone last year. You know, is that the war effort? 
and I've I've paid for for Christina's meds um, for at least four months. And I did a wheel and deal and, and tripled the price on a drone gun and bought NVGs for it. Because um, I, I don't know if you notice, I, I have given out a fair few NVGs and you'll see it in a few more videos. Um, that's been a big focus since I've been back, that and the thermals. I, again, you'll see more videos. I, I just haven't had time. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I've done. Um, you may like that, may not like that. Um, I did what I thought was best at the time. So... That's it. I'm going to work for QM for Ukraine. Um, they've donated over 10 million euros of his own money, the founder. And the truck I was given, the L200, to come here. Rich people know other rich people, right? You know, like doctors know doctors, cops know cops, uh, if it's a duck. Um, yeah, that truck, he, he's arranged projects for other Swedes who can afford to do so. What do you want to support? And, and, and QM for Ukraine has actually facilitated that. You know, uh, drones and uh, Sneagle, uh to soldiers. That that's high quality equipment. You know, I'm I'm gonna be like an unofficial brand whore for them. Uh, I don't think they like it because I, but because I'm a bit outspoken. Um, but um, that's who I'm gonna work for, and they really support me. Um, and Jelica, uh, who you might have seen in some of my videos, she saved me in Germany. Uh, she came here to visit uh, family friends of hers in Ukraine um, and she came to Kiev. She was at the Seuss drumming challenge. Um, she bought me a van, a 2009 Vito in Germany. A, a friend of hers was a Bosnian, a mechanic. And um, she bought me a van to use when I go home. Uh, Vito is a small cargo work van. I'm gonna use that for all my work and my travels uh, around Sweden. So like, that's, that's phenomenal that somebody could afford to do that. Um, I've received a lot of support, but I'm I'm just gonna go home. I'm gonna live humble. I need to focus on my fitness for my own mental health, and I need to incorporate Mossa into that. And I'm thinking of using like a Strava uh, running app, and I'm gonna post that in community post, and I'm gonna do some videos. Uh, I'm thinking like maybe Christmas Day I'll do a half marathon. You can donate if you want, but I, this is this is what I'm gonna do. Um, uh, and the guys like Max, Andre, Dimitri, Harley, Igor, they're all going to help me with the content on the Ukraine side. So I've talked for 20 minutes about it now. I think we're in for a shot. Um, I think we're in for a real good shot. I've got a lot of content to upload. And I've done a lot more interviews with people that I know and that I've worked with. And they're telling their stories. Um... One of the people I'm going to go meet in Donbass is Dr. Stephen Donnelly. In my last video I uploaded about the butterfly ultrasounds, he taught me the EFAS protocol. He's from Oregon. He came the first time with 50 sponsorship from Under Armour Clothing and Butterfly. Uh, they had a million dollars worth of TAC med supplies from, um, from Under Armour. All they had to wear was Under Armour shirts. They got the clothes for free. Like That was... That was when the money was good, when it was cool to donate to Ukraine, you know? When we were like, we, we had more money than gay pride, <laughs> you know, at the first. Uh, everybody was helping, but he's still here. And we're gonna talk about butterfly ultrasounds. Um, I do, I'm, go I'm gonna pursue FPV drones, and I'm gonna document that for you guys. And I'm gonna talk to a lot of techies and polytechnic people uh, in Sweden. Uh, I might even be more responsive to emails if you are brief and concise to the point. Uh, I, I'm so sorry about that. You write this, I will not answer because it. I, I'm sorry I'm limited and that shows very little consideration. Um, yeah, I, I have to keep my boundaries there, but I'm trying my best. I will be a lot more responsive uh, once I get settled in, in Sweden, but we have a lot of work to do for the next month. Uh, I'll talk to Dr. Donnelly because I do want to go back into medical. Uh, we get so much tactical medicine supplies for free, IFAX. You know, like if you play the game, you will, you will get so much for free. It's probably not enough for the Ukrainian army, but uh, I want to focus on little things. If I can raise 3,300 for a night vision, this small little black device, a butterfly ultrasound, a small little black device that is 2,700, maybe we can get it for two grand, for example. Uh, we need to talk to a couple suppliers. Um... I'm going to throw my hand back into that because that's that's something that's small and it's hard to get 
and that's something I specialize in with my fundraising. You know, uh, it's not big boxes of which looks impressive or like a NAFO convoy, which isn't, it looks so impressive, but the, uh, and it is impressive, but, but I buy small things that are very, very important. Okay. So, um, but I, I also know how I don't want to go on too much longer. I, I will acknowledge that I do have a talent, uh, for conveying, like explaining needs, the situation and the solution. And there's so many fantastic volunteers here um, who don't have that ability. Uh, they don't have the ability to communicate the way I do. And I don't even think I'm very good at it, but I try. So that's it. I'm going to work for QM for Ukraine. I want to maintain my work here. Uh, I have a lot of work to do for the rest of the month uh, before I go. And I have a lot of content uh, for you guys. The more interviews, you may not like the lengthy ones, but they are do some people don't and they support me, but they are there for you if you want them. It is, is documented for history. Um, there's a lot to talk about about Kherson and um, there's a lot that you won't see. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you so much. Uh, recently, Ali has been there for me on the phone. Like, I want to do right by you guys. And I want to understand you and your thinking. And by your grace, I want to continue this. Thank you.